Excellency, the President's key priority is to promote, protect, and guide investors to the right path of a much-needed double-digit economic growth. He or the President therefore established the State House Investors Protection Unit and gave us a task to coordinate with all government, ministries, departments, and agencies, the private sector, and also the public sector in order to ensure a secure and thriving investment climate in Uganda. As the head of the State House Investors Protection Unit, I pledge our zeal and dedication to collaboratively coordinate with all of you present today and others out there to ensure that we eliminate bottlenecks that stifle investments. Engagements such as this and the previous ones, like the one we had on the 27th of September, are vitally important for collectively tackling the challenge of financial resilience and that of meeting our tax obligations. Recognizing the contribution of micro, micro small, and medium enterprises to, to our economy is a key concern to all of us here today. Therefore, our main goal is to collectively improvise ways and means of accessing affordable finance for indigenous investors. Um, our, our, our efforts in mobilizing and requesting you to tirelessly keep coming to engage, it is our duty as good-willed citizens, but also as each other's keeper in the, on this planet Earth, we are supposed to keep engaging and ensuring that uh, the challenges we meet in our financial obligations, because that's what makes the physical life or, or, or the daily life uh, move on. So don't be tired. Whenever we call you, know that it is in good faith. We want to have solutions to the resistance we, we face in our finances, but also it's our duty to ensure that we all move well. This is a decisive step forward. Much more work remains to be done as we look forward to coordinating engagements to explore possible methods to support native investment. A lot has been said, ladies and gentlemen, about tax and the impact of tax uh, on the SMEs. But I would like to make one uh, principle, submission, that no tax well administered, records well kept, should affect businesses negatively or should cause businesses to close. I hear the arguments about high tax rates. Without a doubt, yes, our tax rates are high, but some of the countries with the highest tax rates are also the most thriving countries. If we pay taxes uh, to government, to Uganda Revenue Authority when we come to collect, and you pay to God, this one is also a principle that you need to exercise whatever religion you belong to. There is tax for God which you should give uh, called tithe. And then you keep your own money for your business and you clearly separate the records. It's one of the cardinal points that Kano Edith made. Clear record keeping so that you don't mix your personal expenditures with your business expenditures. No business, I can guarantee, will close for doing that. Strategy to cover us, uh, to take us through the next three years. We are leveraging technology. We want to make lives easy for our taxpayers but also to make the process of tax assessment, tax collection, very easy and accurate. This will guarantee that no tax payer is overtaxed. This will guarantee that taxpayers can also pay from their comfort. So when you solve a problem, I think the first thing is to be honest to yourself about it. Okay? 
if, if my colleague here, Rujochi, was to come and talk about in terms of tax collections, how much tax is collected from micro SMEs, even though they are the majority in this country, compared to the few large corporate entities that pay the bulk of the taxes? If, and that's, that's, so if he's unable to collect the tax that we know exists out there, how then, as government agencies, shall we be able to provide the services to enable the micro SMEs be better at what they do, and perhaps even grow? It becomes a chicken and egg. And I think what we have to do, at least from a Bank of Uganda point of view, is the most we can do is make sure that we have a banking system that is relevant, appropriate, and actually helps those that seek credit to do so on reasonable terms. We have done very well, ladies and gentlemen, in dealing with the macro issues of the economy. With the understanding that the benefits from the macro stability will trickle down to the households and enterprises, it seems that we may not be succeeding very well. So we now think that dealing with the micro issues of this economy at enterprise level and at household level is going to be very important if we are going to achieve the double digit growth. To no economy, no economy can sustain its growth very well if the locals are not participating in that economy. I've noted that uh, one of the biggest challenges that they, they are having is things like financial literacy. A lot of people go into businesses because someone has gone into this business. But I want to tell you that uh, that is one of the areas that we are looking at uh, through Enterprise Uganda. We are trying to provide the business development services for these SMEs so that uh, when somebody goes and starts a business, they can really be successful. We have the Emiogas. I think most of you know Emioga. And we have so far provided 259 billion shillings in Emioga to make sure that uh, that category of SMEs can get access to financing. We, have also, we also have the parish development model. And those are for the the micro and small, where people in, the, in this can get about one million shillings. We have um, also provided, so far it's 1.3 trillion shillings in um, Uganda Development Bank, and it's helping a lot of businesses, uh, both uh, uh, big and medium because we thought uh, that's an area and they give very favorable interest rates between 10 to 14 percent but we want them to go even lower to reduce the cost of borrowing to five percent. I think there's a lot of window for us but please appreciate that whereas the formal banks are sources of credit the other ways and means that it is important to always understand at which point you need bank finance. <laughs> the bigger one.